Hello Disney Infinity Trainers! Welcome back to another episode of my Community Toy Box Spotlight series here on iStarly TV. Unfortunately, I haven't done this series in a little in a little while. I think for the past couple weeks I've been pretty sick, unfortunately. So uh, today I'm feeling much better this week and uh, so I, I, I figured I needed to do something like this just to continue to showcase some awesome community created content. And so today I'm going to be playing imagining a Hercules land and I'm just gonna go ahead and click the button here if you want to take a look at the description right there now this is the first place toy box from the Imagineering challenge which was a very recent challenge through the Disney Infinity toy box TV and basically the challenge was for you to create and Imagineer your own ride so however you want to go about doing that now Again, this toy box is by Air Daddy 3 They are a pair of brothers from Spain, I believe. And they are a couple of master toy box artists. And they definitely have earned that title. If you've played any of their toy boxes, they are just some of the best toy box artists you will ever have the pleasure of playing their toy boxes. That was a poorly worded sentence, but you get the point. They are um, very, very good at this. And uh, they're, you know, they, they definitely know what they're doing is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start out. Now, I did see this toy box played a little bit on Mighty Jidus' stream. I might not get through the entire playthrough of the toy box. I do have a 15 minute time limit here, but I figured if I get through some of it and kind of show it off to you, um, it'll encourage you all to, you know, play it. So that's the point of the series, I guess. <laughs> And I will start doing these once a week now. Before I was doing them for a week straight leading up to Halloween. And then I kind of, you know, stopped doing these for a while. But my, my plan is to do at least one or two of these every week. Just because I feel like it's a great idea to continue to showcase uh, the what the community is creating. So, uh, let's begin. Hey, nice to see you again. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this time we are in Disneyland. Is that Walt Disney talking? The happiest place in the world. The foundations of this park are pure imagination. The Imagineers are the heroes that make this possible. Nice. <laughs> Hercules. Did anyone mention Hero? Gotta love Hercules. This is one of my favorite movies from the late 90s. No Hercules. We just need some imagination and... Did anyone mention imagination? <laughs> I'm a Disney Imagineer. Maybe you can help us then. <laughs> That's pretty neat. All you need to do is imagine it. That's, that's the most important lesson. If you can dream it, you can do it. Thank you for watching. I'm just kidding. <laughs> But I am not kidding about if you can dream it, you can do it. There's Hades! Don't forget me, Hercules! That's awesome how they set this all up. Oh, it's happening! And you, this is the part, this is just... Right here, this is going to showcase how amazingly adept they are at creating cinematics in their toy boxes. Let me take you on a quick tour. Like... I could never, well, maybe I could, but still, I, I, right now, I couldn't even dream of creating something this well made. Yeah, this is, this is so awesome. This ride is called Teba's Crazy Market. As crazy as a day in the market. Hmm. 
this one's the cool one. Underworld Drop. So if you've ever been on something like Supreme Scream at Knott's Berry Farm, where you kind of, you're strapped into a seat, you go all the way up, and then it drops you straight down. Looks like that. <laughs> oh, there's a show. Nice. And there's a little eating area. I really love the detail. I really love when you, when people build toy boxes that are just kind of really just super detailed like that even if it's just little things like putting a little eating area and like some restaurants that's really cool to me zero to hero have fun my friend all right so now we're we are free to explore the hercules land and i cannot get over how fantastic this all is now keep in mind the the challenge was the imagineering challenge which means you imagineer a ride and they just went ahead and made their whole uh, uh, their own theme park in Disney Infinity. So we're playing as Loki today. I don't know if that's super relevant or not. I felt like he fit the kind of theme of the Greek kind of hero, Hercules. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Uh, the way he's dressed fits what we would imagine um, some of the Hercules characters to dress. I don't know. I'm just making this all up. So how do we enter this ride? Is there a line? This is pretty dangerous. I could just go ahead and... Woo! Do I just jump down? Am I going too far down? Oh. I don't know if I'm supposed to be here. Oh! Grab on, Loki! Here we go! Oh. <laughs> uh, if you've ever met me, I'm actually pretty scared of heights, to be quite honest. And so I would never go on any of these rides uh, like that. Uh, maybe I mean, I, I never say never, but... For the time being, I will not go on those rides. Let's go ahead and have a churro snap. Ooh, a parade. I don't know if they knew this, but the parade challenge was last week. No, I'm just kidding. They did know that, but uh, that's awesome. They added a little mini parade here. Watch the night show in the lake. Definitely. Let's watch the show here. And of course it turns night because it's, it's amazing. How do we watch? Where do we, is it right here? Oh my goodness. Wow. That is lovely right there. All those pretty, pretty lights. Very, very well done. That's lovely. Gotta love it. And I really like out in the distance, if you could see, oh, there we go. That's the end of the show. And then these things retreat to the water. That's so cool. I was going to say, I really like in the distance up there. You have that little temple. Let's go ahead and fly there. Let's go ahead and cheat. Since Loki can fly, this little temple right here, um, I don't know, it's just kind of a really nice decoration that really adds to the feel of the whole, you know, Greek kind of um, style, <laughs> uh, Hercules themed park. And then there's the little parade passing through. Once again, that's just fantastic. Uh, we won't watch the show again since we just watched it. That's really nice. Come down here. I guess you can't go there. Well, you could just by jumping, but uh, here's a little eatery. Very, very nice. I'm a sucker for these types of toy boxes that are just super detailed in every little way. Uh-oh, let's go to Mount Olympus. Let's see, is there an entrance kind of thing? Or do we just go through it? Oh, wow, look at that. Very well put together. And then here's a waiting room an, or a line. Even that detail I find very, very awesome just because, you know, it gives it that feel that this is an actual theme park. You got to wait in line. Oh, ride zero to hero. Of course. Let's ride zero to hero. The main attraction, I'm assuming. Ooh, it's such a big, well-developed ride that it has its own loading screen. <laughs>
just waiting for it to load. This must be a very amazing, amazing ride since it's taking so long to load. And it's not even showing us uh, where it's be being built. Oh, wait, where do we go? Does this take us, I, I, I'm guessing this takes us back to uh, the park, which it would be good if it's specified, but still, this looks really beautiful. And I'm guessing this takes us to the ride, since you can see Ride Zero to Hero, yes. Oh, so this is one of those awesome rides where you get to see the ride, like, as in first person. Your trip is about to begin. Please keep your hands and feet in the, inside the vehicle. Thank you. Oh, Hercules was born to be the greatest of all heroes, but first he has to demonstrate it and gain his hero title. Oh, very cool. Hey kids, so you want to be a hero? That's not my best Danny DeVito impersonation. I have trained a lot of heroes and all of them failed. Why should you be different? Look at that, all the trophies. This is very reminiscent of the actual scene where he meets Phil in, in the movie and it shows kind of all the artifacts and, and statues and stuff of all the previous heroes. So this is actually like the kind of reenacting the scene of the movie. And yep, this is like the training grounds where Hercules trains with Phil, where he goes from literally a zero, like a very scrawny kid, to this huge buff demigod. <laughs> Continue this way and you will become a true hero. You almost got it. Uh oh, are we going to get hit by those giant marshmallows? I hope not. Oh, it's close. Oh, it's coming, it's coming. Beautiful fireworks in the distance, wow. Just every little detail here is just so adequately placed and celebration time, celebrate good time, come on. Should be playing that in the background. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mulan. Hey, Mulan. Hey, Anna. Zero to hero just like that. Oh, that reminds me of the song now. Please don't get that stuck in my head. The one's like... Who put the glad in gladiator? That one should be playing here. Hercules. I don't know all the words. I just know the zero to hero. You know, the, the muses in that movie really made the movie in a big way as well. Uh, all of their really hip songs. Man, Hercules was a great movie, by the way. If you haven't, if, if my fanboying over it hasn't been enough. And there's the Hydra head. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. It's like as as I play through this toy box more and more, it's becoming more and more clear to me why this was the number one pick among among all the Imagineering toy boxes. Are we approaching the underworld? Because this looks very underworldy. Yes, we are. Welcome to the underworld, Hercules. I know what you are looking for here. However, nobody escapes from the underworld alive. Sorry, that was a really ugly <laughs> uh, way to say that, but... That big ghostly figure. Now, had they done a, a block art of the dog, Cerberus, uh, the three-headed dog, that would have been excellent, but... This is still just beautiful. <gasps> Jasmine! Some crossover here. We're saving Jasmine? That's really kind of random. I don't know if that's supposed to be, be Megara. Or, or what? Oh, the Titans, wow. Oh my goodness. I was just about to say, like, if they did the Titans, that would be cool. And, wow. That is amazing. Wow, I, I yeah, I'm in awe. Pegasus, one of the cutest characters in the movie.
You did it, Hercules. You have become a true hero. And just like that, look at that, zero to hero, just like that. It's time to meet your father again. Oh, man. Big Zeus. The Big Z. We meet, we're gonna, we're about to meet the Big Z. Why does it say, why does that say Monsters University? Is this like a true crossover? No, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. Wow. This is just, I, I mean, to say this is a well-made toy box, I think is just an understatement. Like, yeah. I'm purely in awe. All right, I really want to see my dad already. Can we speed it up? <laughs> just kidding, but still, even this little room here. Oh, where's my dad? Is that it? I want to go see my dad. Wait, what's happening? Wow, okay, well, that was clearly the main attraction in this toy box. But still, I mean, that just goes to show, once again, the level of detail that Er Daddy 3 puts into their toy boxes. You know, the main attraction, they could have just done just that ride as the entire toy box, and that still would have been just an excellent toy box submission, and probably still could have placed top five just by itself. But instead, they went ahead and they made this giant theme park inspired by Hercules and uh, you know just excellent excellent job I cannot commend them enough um, I will be tweeting them just to kind of show them that I played the toy box and that I really like it now um, I don't know if this is gonna restart the whole kind of intro cinematic once again if it does then we'll kind of just go ahead and and wrap it up here um, but I think we're gonna wrap it up here either way I don't want this video to, to be too long and if there are a couple points or a couple kind of attractions that I missed in the in the toy box you're all welcome to you I, I definitely encourage you all to play this toy box it was just fantastic I will post a link to that in the description of course so you can download it for yourself oh cool we just start right here and it's worth noting that you know all of the Imagineering toy boxes are probably really well done so if you go to the community content section of the Disney Infinity website and search go to the toy box search function and you search for uh, parade challenge, or sorry, sorry, Imagineering challenge toy boxes. Ooh, look at that, the Hydra, that's so cool. Um, you search for Imagineering challenge toy boxes and you'll find all of the, the submissions. And once again, this is the top one, but there are several other ones that are just excellent. And I do encourage you all to try those out. Uh, this, was a, this was a fun challenge, a very fun challenge. And it really allows a lot of the community to try to be super super creative as well as very technical with their logic so if there was any criticisms I could come up with for this toy box it would be very difficult to do so but I might say just one of the then this is super super minor but in the theme park maybe populating it with some little villagers some people walking around uh, that would give it a little bit more life it would really kind of make it feel like an actual theme park and let's go ahead and ride the float um, you know, it would make it feel like an actual theme park. Right now, it just feels like we're testing all these rides out. But once again, that's a really, really minor kind of criticism. Everything else about this toy box is just, am <coughs> excuse me, amazing. And uh, I do, I, I do not question why it got number one in the challenge. So uh, I, I encourage you all to play this toy box for yourself. You'd like to kind of, you know, enjoy it for for yourself firsthand. I, I recommend it. And, uh, you know, check out all the other community toy boxes as well. Disney Infinity, the, the Disney Infinity team has created a 25 Days of Christmas toy box. And it's basically um, every day you play it, something new happens. So it's a really cool way to kind of test out that calendar configurator, creative toy, and kind of uh, get into the Christmas spirit of, as well. Which, as those of you who watch the show know, I, I'm just a big sucker for Christmas spirit. But anyways... Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Oops. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this episode. This is Imagining a Hercules Land, I believe it's called, by Erdaddy3 once again. Very well-made toy box. Very fun. I hope you enjoyed, and please let me know if there are any other toy boxes that you'd like to see me play, whether it's a community member's toy box or even one of your own toy boxes that you've submitted to Disney. I'm really happy to play any toy box right now i'm just kind of randomly choosing them i chose this one because it was the first place toy box but um even if it's a, from a previous challenge or even if it didn't get accepted for a challenge i am happy to play any community toy box made by anyone in the community uh 
So if you'd like to see your toy box showcased on here, definitely let me know. Aside from that, this is iSarly TV. This is Loki signing out and once again trying to rule the world. I'll see you next time.